What's going on? It's facts you don't know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more well informed. Make sure to subscribe and active the notifications bell so you don't miss anything. Ariel Vahara, age 39, and Damien Pigeon, age 42, have lived in Rosario and have been with their partner for 15 years. In 2002, they were the protagonist of the first gay wedding in the province of Santa Fe. And two years later, they returned to be news for a historical event in the country. They adopted a baby, reaffirming their rights of equal marriage. A gay couple fulfilled their dream and adopted a baby who have been rejected by 10 families. The reason? She was a carrier of HIV. Ariel Vahara and Damien Pigeon became the first couple to marry in the province of Santa Fe, Argentina. From the moment they were married, they signed up for the single registry of aspiring guardians for adoptive purposes. As a period stipulated two years to become parents. However, this was not so simple. During their registration, they placed that they did not care about sex. They just wanted him to be five years old. In the first year, they did not receive any messages. So they extended the possibility of adopting someone who was up to 14. They even opened the option of adopting brothers. At that time, he was married to Anil. However, it was until 2014 that they received a call from the single registry. An official told them that there was a 28-day-old baby that could be adopted. He explained that the baby had HIV because the parent who gave birth and abandoned her in neonatology suffered from the disease. He asked if we were sure to start the adoption process and suggested that we think about it before accepting. But we never doubted him and the first thing we asked him was to authorize us and meet her the same day, said Ariel. The first contact between the three was fundamental. They took her in his arms to give her milk from his bottle and noticed that she felt comfortable. As soon as I saw her, I felt it was my life. The connection was immediate. She was very small and weighed very little. We had her in our arms, we gave her the bottle, and she looked at us with eyes wide open and without crying, said Damien. We recommend know the new form of violence in the couple through social networks. At that moment, the nurse told them that the girl had been rejected by 10 families for the health problems she was suffering. Regardless, she was adopted. With the passage of time, the girl was gaining weight. They put Olivia. It was not magic nor easy. It was not that we were special. It was about having matured in those six years the idea of being parents and opening our heads, our hearts, and understanding that ideal children do not exist and transform our desire to be parents in need. The connection was immediate between the couple and little Olivia, but something incredible happened next to her. A year and a half after she was born, the infectologist confirmed that all the studies had been negative. She didn't have HIV. Olivia was healthy. Olivia's father today says he barely saw the baby, felt great affection for her. Four months after the arrival of the infant, the family was able to adopt another minor named Victoria, who was given to them by her own mother, who, upon learning that they adopted Olivia, wanted them to take care of her daughter. After care, after a year and a half of birth, doctors have pointed out that little Olivia is negative in HIV tests. Life was rewarding us with Victoria after so much struggle, perseverance, and unease, said Ariel. A miracle? After a year, great news came to this day. They were contacted by the Santa Fe Hospital. A year and a half after being born, the infectologist confirmed that all the studies done had been negative. She didn't have HIV and was healthy. It was chosen by God, something inexplicable, said Damien. Yesterday, Olivia turned five. Victoria, the other adopted girl, will turn one in February. Both attend the same school. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as 